My name is Ibrahim Mahmood and I've been working under Dr. Henderson Keeves this summer on this project titled Classification of Meteorites Using Machine Learning. So the reason I joined this project was because of my passion in both astrophysics and AI. So this seemed like the perfect fusion of both of them. Other than this, I was really interested in uh, finding out how machine learning impacts real life projects. So this project has been really good in that, that regard as well. Um, so I'm going to talk about what exactly the project is. What exactly do we mean when we say classification of meteorites? So I've broken down the objective in a bit of a more technical way classifying carbonaceous chondrites based on their organic content. So firstly, what are carbonaceous chondrites? So if you look to the right, this really insightful diagram breaks down really well uh, that chondrites is just a type of uh, meteorite. And I'm here to tell you that carbonaceous chondrites are specifically just chondrites which are rich in carbon and other organic content. Hence the other part, what exactly is organic content? So organic content refers to complex molecules which contain carbon and they often contain other elements like oxygen, hydrogen, etc. And uh, these are found within the carbonaceous chondrites that we were just talking about. So these organic molecules, they're of particular interest because they're actually believed to be some of the earliest chemical compounds that were formed in the solar system and may include the building blocks of life. So this was one of the um, primary reasons of this entire research. So moving on, I'm going to talk about what we've actually achieved in this project, what we've actually done. Since this project was quite extensive, we were only able to focus on mainly the data visualization part, and we plan to continue this research even after summers. So I'm going to talk about the data visualization we've done. So this this uh, plot, mass spectrum plots, this is something I worked directly on in a team of three, um, where we uh, basically, first let me define what are mass spectrum plots, right? A mass spectrum plot is basically just a graph that displays the, as you can see over here, the MZ ratio, which stands for the mass to charge ratio. And these are the ratios plotted according to their signal density in the data set that we were provided with, right? So. Um, each peak on this graph actually represents a different molecule or a fragment of a molecule that has been detected in the sample. So you can see this peak really uh, shows a high signal intensity. So this is the kind of data that we were able to visualize. This is just a random sample, one of the random plots I picked. There were a lot of plots like this one. This is just for one sample. So this is to give you an idea about what we achieved. So another type of plot that we worked on were the scatter plots of elemental ratios. So um, these were specifically plotted against the MZ again, which is the mass to charge ratio again, right? So the mass to charge ratio um, plotted against these uh, were the hydrogen to carbon, the oxygen to carbon. And if I move ahead, I've, plot, I've compiled all of these together in one visual. So the nitrogen to carbon, the oxygen to nitrogen, all of the four combinations plotted against the mass to charge ratio. So why, what exactly is this showing us? Why are we doing this? Basically, um, these plots are crucial for understanding the chemical composition and the diversity of the organic content within these meteorites. So these visuals are directly impacting um, what we learn about um, these chemical compounds. Hence, these plots were very important and uh, it was really fun working on this project overall. I'm going to end it here because um, I'm trying to keep it short, but I'd like to thank the institution for letting me work on this. And it was really fun working on this and I hope to continue working on this project in the future as well. So thank you for this opportunity and uh, thank you for listening to my presentation.